Hi everybody, in the background is the country style house. I have finished it completely, almost completely. There's just one little thing I want to do um, with you. And otherwise, let's go have a look around very quickly. Alright, here we go. We'll have a good look around this place. Start off with the motorbike, sitting in the driveway. I think that was quite a cool design. Simple, I think, but effective. It looks like a motorbike. Um, I added some trapdoors to the bottom windows only. I think that makes it stand out a little bit more. Makes it look a bit different. Um, our garden. With some nice jungle trees because they grow quite tall. I like them. I think it suits the house as well. Um, front door. It's Mr. Creeper waiting for us, but it's not real Creeper, of course. I'd be screaming and running away if it was. Um, yeah, it said trap doors on there. Nice big porch. And here inside, oops, if we can fit through the door. Some chests for some storage. Creepy. Little desk or something. Um, let's go to the dining room first. Some dining room table and chairs. I think that chair is a nice design for like formal dining. And yeah, instead of like just our, our casual dining room over there. And the kitchen. It's supposed to be a fridge. <laughs> An extractor fan for our ovens. Mm-hmm. And yeah, our informal table. Let's jump around that for a bit in a little sitting area with a jukebox so we can play our music. Our Bluetooth. Um, fancy, I suppose. <laughs> Out of this world type design over there. I just put some things together. Thought I could put some flower pots and things on there. Um, another sort of shelving unit for the um, couch. I <laughs> made it lime green just because I could. Nice TV, even though it's just little. Yeah, you don't need a big TV, do you? That was our storage room. Back around to the um, foyer there. Uh, outside, out the back. I did a nice little barbecue type area. That's our jukebox. Pool. The little lilo. Ah, yay, I can swim. Lie down on the lilo all day. <laughs> Go for my swim. Yeah. Right. And, yeah, some things you can lie on. Some little flower beds down here, although they've only got weeds in them at the moment. These people aren't very good gardeners. Although they do keep their lawn immaculate, don't they? Okay, just to get in and out of there. Then back inside. We'll go upstairs. I actually quite like the covered porch. <laughs> actually. It's almost sort of conservatory, but not, because it doesn't have all kind of covered in. So I like it. Um, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Excuse me every time. Okay, upstairs. Get up. Humongous picture, although that's probably kind of scary if um, you're little and coming up there at night. <laughs> okay, let's go into this room first. This could be for like your teenage daughter. She's got quite a big bed. She can like lie in bed, look out the window. Set of drawers and some shelves. She wears a with a skeleton head around, so she's one of those kind of people. Yeah, I know. One of them. Little chest at the end of a bed. It's all good. Um, the bog, <laughs> as Buddy would call it. Uh, toilet to other people. And bathroom. Just like a little bath here. The shower. Some shelves and basins. Um, and we can go through to this room. The boys' room. There's like two different beds. They've each got a set of drawers. And a big cupboard here. And more, like, you know, bits and pieces they can put the stuff in. As you can see, I've been having fun with flowers in my inventory. <laughs> and a little skeleton head. I sort of tried to mix up the paintings and the item frames as well. So, whoops. Okay, and then we come along to this room. 
This is a little girl's room. It's got a you know wardrobe or whatever you want to put it in there. Um, doll's house, places to put her dolls. These are supposed to be like curtains. <laughs> I just needed needed something, so I just put them there. I think that was quite good and a little seat to sit on so she can like read books and stuff over here. Desk to do work on. It's awesome. Oops. And down here to the master bedroom. It's got a bigger bed. Oh, it's big as that other one, I suppose. So, but this is the master bedroom. And a couple of sets of drawers because there's like no wardrobe. Some chests. Yeah. Flowers. I think it looks really, really awesome. Now. I just used these doors as inside doors because I thought they were, even though you can sort of see through them, I didn't use those ones on the bathroom or the bog. <laughs> so, bog. Oh dear. Um, right, and last but, oh jeez. Garage. There's the laundry and the dryer, washing machine, sink, just some little storage and the crafting table because I don't think I've put a crafting table anywhere else in the house. And a little bit of a workstation thing here. Uh, that's just an empty thing like garages have. It's to put your children when they're naughty. <laughs> Except it hasn't got a door on it. But, um, yeah. Um, so, the only thing left to make is something that fits in here. That belongs to the people. That leaves all these oil stains. And I'll get to that right now. Let's start up here with the front of the car. A wheel. A car. Another wheel. And the back of the car. Okay, so this is a pretty simple car. So do this very kind of quickly. Um, wheel hubs, whatever they're called that right okay we need to put a middle in there so i can get everything on there oops a roof to cover this up oops back so nobody sees it <laughs> what else? Um, yeah, that should be good. Just like that, I do think so. Am I right? No, they don't go like that. They go like that. Awesome. Whoops, get out of the way, wall. There we go. And door. Climb over the car. Door. Handle, oh, actually, handle goes that way, and handle on that car, that side. Right, there's my car. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like the house and the landscaping and the interior, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.